Però... Azul Garis. Siempre, siempre mejor. Sí, verdad. Uh, siempre mejor. De 0 a 10, ¿cuál calificación darías al dulce que has comido? Es bueno. Ajá. Uh -huh. Which grade would you give from 0 to 10? 7. 7. Bien, está bien. 7 es uh, de una tienda, ¿no? Eh, sí, sí, sí. Uh, creo que hay posible que producción. Sí. Hay mucho allá, mucho, mucho, mucho. En las tiendas. Sí. Es un poquito uh -huh. lower level. Sí. Than when grandma does something like that. Sí, exacto. Sí. Tu sí. abuela hace como eso. Sí. Es, es mejor. Es. es mucho mejor. Es sí. mucho mejor. Exacto. Eh, los postres en esta cafetería es como una abuela hace una postre. Ah, mira. Sí, es un regalo para ti también. Aquí hay una cafetería. Sí. Uh -huh. ¿Y tú bebes café con leche o sin? Uh, los dos. Los dos. Sí, los dos. No, los creo dos. que frío, café es una mejor idea. Ajá. Uh -huh. sí. sí, con sí. leche. Uh, creo que sin leche. Sin leche. Sí, ¿tú prefieres con leche? Uh, con... Yo encanta café negro. Sí. Pero cuando es el frío café con ice cubes. Ah, me encanta eso. Sí, me creo encanta. que yo voy a eso. Yo también voy sí. con eso. Uh, uh, ¿Nos podemos caminar? Sí. Mi café es 200 minutos. Vale, 200 minutos. 200 metros. Eh, no metros, eh, 20. 20. 20, 20. Sí, porque 200 es mucho, sobre. Yo tengo un problema con los números. No, no te, no te preocupes. Los coches también. Es una máquina para. A mí, mí. tampoco, no me Es una puta madre máquina, ¿no? Sí. Porque tu vida es. A mí, yo tengo amigos que. Toda la vida es con los coches. Yo es cuando yo tengo reunir con ellos, sí. yo escucho así, sí, coches son mejores, sí, los blancos, <laughs> los rojos, sí. looking like that. Yeah. Uh, some don't have balconies because it was dangerous to keep it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I don't remember my history stories, uh, my history classes yeah. very much. But uh, during the Second World War, yeah. who invaded Poland first? Yeah, the it, Nazis or the Soviet Union? No, it was the Nazis. Uh -huh. It was like the first September. Yes. They crossed the border and they told, you know, it was us. That's why they did it. Yeah. Like with Anschluss and everything. Uh huh. And uh, it was like on the 17th of September, the Russian army came. Yes. You know, we, we haven't get much chances. Ooh. Because, you know, it was like the Nazis attacked, you know? Yes, yes. And uh, we went, you know, to fight back everything we had in, you know, we weren't prepared. Uh -huh. And uh, after we moved to the people, when the army was on the western side fighting with Germans, yes. the Russians came and they totally fucked us up. But and, you know. the Russians, they came to attack you guys or they came like to help you? No, oh, they, they were not about to help us. Wow, they, so they were attacking you as well? Yeah, it was fucked because, you know, it was like, <laughs> wow. at first, Germans and Russians were aligned. Ah, they were together. Yeah, at first, yeah, it was uh, it was like, you know, the Second <laughs> World War was like started in a month, you know, yes. they, in a month they took us. And after that, they were, I mean, you know, all the alliance, uh -huh. uh, France, UK, they was like, we're gonna help you stop the war. And they were like just sitting, uh -huh. do nothing, you know, and uh, winter came. Uh -huh. All they did was waiting and I uh, hoped for the peace you know they were like settling down in Poland regroup and everything and after that they came for France through Antwerp yeah mm -hmm. after uh, March or April I don't record it well but after the winter when they were ready you know there was a marginal there was a marginal line you know after uh -huh. first world war the friends built a yeah. big fortification to defend themselves on the border but what they didn't 
what didn't they did? Mm -hmm. They didn't build anything at the frontier of Belgium. Mm -hmm. So the German just took a way path to Belgium, took the France, you know, then they were late, they, then they were, <coughs> yeah, you know, running away. Yes. To, to England and uh, Polish troops that were able to run through uh -huh. Romania uh -huh. because they were going to south. They went to uh, England mm -hmm. and uh, Polish squad 303 was one of the, I mean, it was the most famous thing, you know, the mm -hmm. casualties they had was so little yeah. and they were killing so many Germans that they were like pride mm -hmm. of everything. And after that, you know, <coughs> the Battle of England uh -huh. uh, in 41, I guess, there was a Plan Barbarossa. Mm. And uh, they had to fight on both uh, fronts uh -huh. because they decided, oh, fuck it, we're going to invade Russians. Mm. And they did. And they did it hard. You know, they got to the Moscow. It was like a few kilometers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was like, you know, they were really, re really, really close. I mean, it was like they were like on the suburbans of wow. Moscow. And the Battle of Stalingrad uh -huh. was so hard. <clears throat> whole Stalingrad was destroyed, actually. Wow, crazy. And then it just started, you know, the Russians started to win. Mm -hmm. They started to fall back. And then, you know, yes, they get to Warsaw. And from Warsaw, they get to Berlin. You know, and all the things that happened. Yeah. Actually, the Poland was supposed to be free, but Churchill mm -hmm. and Roosevelt and Stalin made an agreement where Poland was in the side of influence of Russia. Yeah. You know, it's understandable that they wanted peace and the Stalin could make more war. Uh -huh. Wow. But well, you know. in the beginning, uh, who governed? here Poland was the Nazis or Russia because both attacked but yeah it was like uh, Warsaw was in the German part ah it was the German part uh, the story of Poland is like the story of Poland is like we have uh, beginnings in 1966 uh -huh. 1960 no 90 fuck it it's a shame I don't remember before 1945 before 1941 1930s. No, no, no. I mean, the beginning of Polish country is like in 1982 without thousand. It's like we have a thousand year history. Mm -hmm. And uh, after, you know, baptism mm -hmm. of Poland, we have prince, kings, and then more kings. Wow. Yeah, uh, after that, uh, well, there was one king mm -hmm. that was really, you know, do you know him? Yeah. Uh, really, really badass. He, yeah. he made everything that was here, but he had too many sons. Oh. And those too many sons wanted, all wanted to be a prince, <laughs> king. So uh, they split Poland and it was the beginning of the end because, you know, when you have one big country, one king, it's like, you know, you can defend yourself. But if you have six countries in yes. one kingdom, actually six princes, and everybody want to get power for the children, you know, and after that, many of them will have children and many of their children, you know, it was like pretty small countries mm -hmm. and uh, we couldn't get each other. I well. see. After that, uh, a long period of time, uh -huh. Austria, yeah. Russia and Prussians, uh -huh. Germans, make, uh, we can go over here, there's a Russian circuit, mm -hmm. old building. Yeah, and um, the thing is that it's called Rozbiory. Uh -huh. It was like they split it Poland. Warsaw was in the Russian influence. It was like back in Napoleon's time, actually. Uh -huh. yeah. Before that, uh, before Napoleon's time. So in seven, in the 18th century. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mo Mo Russia has Moscow. Uh, true, Russian was Warsaw. The south, Galicia, you know, the mountain, when I show you the little mountains, was Austrian. Mm -hmm. And the Prussia, Russia, uh, Pru Pru Prussians, so Germans, had a western side. Mm -hmm. And you can still see how these divided country, countries are different because of the culture mm -hmm. that was influenced. And we, we weren't 
we were not on the map for 123 years. <clears throat> you know? Yeah. We had few yeah. uprisings, we have strong nationality, but, uh, you know, the Poland was invisible. It was, you wow, know... Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. And after First World War, and, you know, people were... I mean, during the First World War, people from Poland were fighting uh -huh. on the side of which country they were, you know? There was, like, putting them into the army and fighting, you yeah. know? And, um... Uh, when it happened, the First World War is, like, 11 October, is our independent day mm -hmm. and since that we had a country of our own the second Rzeczpospolita so common Polish state mm -hmm. yeah and uh, you know after first world war Europe was totally fucked <laughs> you know pandemia yes yeah people were dying so much poverty and Russian attackers you know the Bolsheviks uh, in 1920, so two years <laughs> after we get, you know, we have to in defend. Famous, yeah. yeah, and imagine yourself, Red Army, marching to the, our land, you know, killing all everybody. Uh -huh. There was like a lot of them. Yes. <laughs> a lot of them. There was a Red Army, you know, whole Russian, uh -huh. whole Russia in front of Poland. But uh, there was a thing that they came to Warsaw. Mm. You know, there was like on the suburbans of Warsaw, mm -hmm. and we have a national hero, Piłsudski. Because mm -hmm. Piłsudski was a real man of state. He was like, <clears throat> I don't know, a Cornwall for England, mm -hmm. or uh, you know, he was a hero, real hero. And uh, he made a act of good tactic. Yeah. And it's called Miracle of Vistula. Oh. not this one. And we defeat and we defeated them. And we defend ourselves. And we had twenty years of peace. Nice. You know? So Poland, I heard in my history classes, Poland was always being attacked. Always. You were always in the always middle of all the uh, Always once yes. someone had to yes. fuck us up. Yes, you were always in the middle of, of, of the battles. Yeah. But you know, it's like we also had our story that we weren't okay with everybody. Uh -huh. You know, we had like union with Lithuania. Mm. Because Lithuania is like pretty small right now. Yeah. But if you would like look back in the past, uh -huh. Lithuania, Lotva, Belarusia, uh -huh. Estonia, I think not. Estonia was like a part of uh, some Jesuit uh, monastery. It was mm -hmm. it's pretty complicated because the <coughs> <coughs> there was a uh, Germans. Uh, Christianity mm -hmm. medieval uh, knights yes. that were occupying <laughs> Lithuania ah, I see. and the north of Poland. It was like a trick that one of the princes that I told you mm -hmm. about uh, gave back to them. Yeah. So they, you know, and after there was Christianity uh -huh. at north, the Lithuania was stood for themselves. And they had Lithuania, Łotwa, Belarusia, and part of Ukraine. So it was a big country. It was, a big it was really strong. They had princes, but they didn't have king. Mm -hmm. And we have a queen mm. who didn't have a quick king. <laughs> and it was, you know, wow, interesting. let's do it. <laughs> they was like, let's do it. Let's right? stay together. Yeah, and we had a Lithuanian king uh -huh. and Polish queen. Wow. And it was a union. Uh -huh. And it was called Rzeczpospolita uh -huh. of Boiga Narodu. Uh, common common state of yes. two nations. Uh, interesting. Yeah. Nice. And uh, it worked. Uh -huh. it, it worked real good, but there was also a, a third nation wow. inside that was used a lot. It was Ukraine. Ah. And we weren't okay with that. You know, we... The... You know, uh, when you have Poland mm -hmm. right now, you have Lithuania over there in Belarusia, and the Ukraine, Galicia, yeah. was Ukrainian, you know. And the princess of Poland that was in uh, power in the third state yeah. was really cruel. They were putting people on pulse 
wouldn't kill them, use them. Mm -hmm. You know, when those Cossacks, yes. it was really great army. The Cossacks, the Ukrainian uh -huh. people, were saying, yeah. you know what? We are not really okay that you're killing us, using us, we don't want this. And they said, shut the fuck up. And after those shut the fuck up, there was a Powstanie Chmielnickiego. Chmielnicki's uprising. He was a, one of the princes, mm -hmm. Ukrainian, who stood up for himself and they beat us, Whoa. actually. They fucked us up. Wow. Yeah, I mean, because, you know, we have Husaria. You know Husaria? Mm -hmm. The knights on uh, horses yes. uh, with uh, wings yes. mm -hmm. yeah, and spires. Yeah. And we fucked up, you know, Muslim army at the end as well. We, we the Husaria was, you know, we, we could beat everyone. Uh -huh. But the Cossacks knew all because they were fighting with us and uh -huh. they knew how to use it. They was like using, you know, not cars, but the wooden... Ah, okay, some carriages. Carriages. Yes. They were using, you know, some of power, the one-shot yes. rifles when uh -huh. you have... And, you know, there was a mud as well and they used it all you know mm -hmm. they was retreating they were tired and everybody was dying so uh, oh. that was the end of Poland actually because they were saying we want to we are Polish I mean we are the third nation let's make not Rzeczpospolita Obojga but Trojka Narodu the third uh -huh. nation and after that the Russian came you know the Tsar or something and they said you're gonna come to us. We don't want to. You are inside of the Russia now. Uh -huh. Oh. Yeah, so uh, it's the story that happened. But um, actually, after this fight, uh -huh. they come to agreement. They sign it. There was a Poland of free nation, but actually it didn't work out because the Russian already took the land. I see. Yeah, so... Uh, that's the, pretty much all the story of Poland. Wow, intense, uh, huh? <laughs> yeah, intense. a lot of things happening here. Yeah, a lot of things happen, and uh, you know the the thing is that many of Polish descendants, you know, are living abroad mm -hmm. in every country. The Polonia is like Poland is. How much people is according to Wikipedia? Especially, especially in the United States, there are a yeah, lot of United States Polish well. people there. Yeah, uh, Polska. You know, I don't remember quite well. Uh -huh. What's the number? We have 37 million. Ah. 38 million.